Ever since Microsoft released the free tier for GitHub Copilot in VS Code, it has been one of the most used code assistants. And one of my favorite features is the custom instructions for Copilot to ensure my code adheres to the team guidelines and follows Python's best practice. Basically, you can think of a custom instruction as the system prompt for Copilot to allow Copilot to generate higher quality of responses and code base. And in this video, I will share my Copilot custom instruction template and how to use them. To use GitHub Copilot custom instruction in VS Code. First, we need to enable the setting. In VS Code, open the setting editor. Type instruction file in the search box. Make sure code generation use instruction files is checked. In your project folder, create the GitHub directory if it does not already exist. In the GitHub directory, create a file called copilotinstructions.md with a dash. Open the instruction file and type the instructions and the guidelines Copilot must follow when generating a code base or debugging. And here's my custom instruction template. In my instruction file, I broke down the guidelines into different groups. Here are the instructions I use for general principles, tab A compliance, and code structure. And how to deal with type hints and error handling. And here are the rest. Keep in mind that these are just the general guidelines that I use to keep my code base clean with Copilot. You are more than welcome to modify the instructions based on your use case and requirements. Reload the window to ensure the changes are applied. Now to test Copilot instructions. For starters, I have a simple Python script that has several formatting issues, and the naming convention could use some work. Highlight the code and open inline chat editor, and I'll simply type, check if code follows the guideline. Copilot will then load the guidelines from the Copilot instructions file first, then apply the changes accordingly. And here's the revision after the update. Overall, I think it looks really good comparing to before the revision. Now let's test it with a more complex code base. In this one, there are tons of improvements needed. Let's see what changes Copilot is going to make. So I know Copilot never follows the remove unused library rule, so I'm not surprised here, but everything else looks pretty good to me. It organized the import statement with standard libraries go on the top. Type hint, doc string are added and naming conventions are also applied. So yeah, that's basically how I use Copilot custom instruction to keep my code clean these days. I hope this tip is helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.